love again. I am Blunty, and I'm working on a video filled with, well, a couple of videos actually, filled with some newbie friendly tips, stuff that's easy to miss but important to know in Monster Hunter Rise. Just trying to help out new players coming to this game now that it's launching on Xbox and PlayStation platforms. But for the purposes of keeping that video a bit snappier, I cut a whole big chunk of one particular subject out. I figured, well, I've covered this before in other ways, in older videos, so it, it can safely go. It was messing with the pacing of the video. Most of the tips were short and sweet, this one, it went on a bit. But I have just seen a Reddit post of someone falling victim to this thing, falling for this trap I wanted to warn people about. So off the cutting room floor this tip comes and into your faces in this video. Don't use the Guild Cross Guardian or Black Belt armor. There's a special armor set and weapon set that was added to Monster Hunter Rise in version 3.5 about seven months after launch. They were called the Guild Cross armor set and the Guardian weapons. Later in version 3.9, I think, uh, came the Black Belt armor set and Defender weapons. And as Rise is launching to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series S and X at version 10.0.0, it's safe to assume that both of these sets will be there day one for both those platforms. And I would strongly recommend to not use either of them. These were introduced for two reasons. The Guild Cross was to help players burn through the opening low rank material of the game, useful for returning players, uh, for existing players switching platforms and therefore starting fresh, or to help already Rise experienced hunters quickly catch up with their friends who were already in high rank, for example. The Black Belt armor set was even more powerful, designed to do a similar thing, but even more overpowered, designed to rush through even more of the game to get to the opening stages of the end game even quicker. They are built to be overpowered, boasting much stronger defense stats and skills than normal armor at these levels should have. That can result in new players learning some bad habits, preventing them from learning better technique because they feel over safe. They can easily tank hits or combos that should be a lot more scary and dangerous to them, that should be teaching them how to evade, how to position properly, how to counter properly. And indeed, some of these combos that this armor would let them tank should just knock them out completely. And aside from being overpowered in a hunt, having these armor sets that you can just carry with you throughout massive chunks of the game can prevent new players from experiencing the natural crafting and farming cycle of learning these aspects of the game properly. Things like learning about various armor skills, combinations of armor skills, like level upgrading your armor, the benefits of thoughtfully building out mixed sets, I mean, it might not hurt too much in the opening 10 hours, which are pretty easy by design anyway. In fact, I did a test on this live on stream and I played through the entirety of the low rank game without any armor at all. And I got through it pretty damn easily. One faint exactly. But by the time you open up high rank quests, a newbie with even a small pile of bad habits or missing knowledge will get domed like a bitch and might even get spanked so hard, so fast, they could bounce off the game entirely, going, oh no, the, the difficulty spike is too much, oh, this, this game is too hard. But if you'd played properly, this is actually a carefully balanced difficulty spike. It feels great when you play the game properly. But if you use this armor and you don't know any better, that difficulty spike could feel a lot more severe than it could, and it could ruin the game for you. But please, trust me on this much. The game is a lot more fun when you let it teach you the things it needs to teach you the hard way. As funny as that sounds, learn by doing, my friends. Learn by doing. The game is so much fun when you let it teach you things. So, that was the... Here's something I prepared earlier a bit, uh, which now brings us to the Reddit post that inspired me to rescue that tip from the cutting room floor. Is it me or is early game really hard? I started playing this game like two days ago and I finished all the base game village quests, at least I assume all of them, considering nothing in the top right says anything about village quests anymore and the like. I feel like I'm constantly having my ass royally kicked whenever I try seven star hub quests. I have the free high rank armor on right now, but it still feels like I'm getting two shot by literally everything. <laughs> that, that right there, 
That is exactly what I'm talking about. This person popped on the overpowered armor set, slapped their way through the early game, learned a whole bunch of probably really bad habits, didn't learn how to play properly, learned to play lazy, got overconfident, thought they could tank hits they shouldn't be tanking, didn't learn to dance with the monsters properly, and the instant, the very instant that they hit content that the armor wasn't designed to easily soak up, they got their ass kicked brutally. So hard, they were so frustrated, they rushed to Reddit and say, hey, hey, why is this game so hard? I can't, why, why do I suck all of a sudden? This is exactly what I'm talking about. This is the perfect golden example. So don't even just take my word for it anymore. Take this guy's word for it. He's a living example of why you should not wear this armor as a newbie while you're trying to learn the game properly. If you are curious to learn more, I did do full-on test runs when these armor pieces first released from fresh save files with both the Guardian and the Black Belt armor sets, and I'll link those videos in the down below if you want a deeper dive into exactly what these armors uh, are, what they are useful for, and how they feel in the actual game content. But please, 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 as a newbie, do not be tempted by them. Play the game properly and you will be a far better hunter for it and have a lot more satisfying fun, I promise you. And you won't have to skitter off to Reddit and whine about the game suddenly being too hard because you'll have learned to play properly. Hooray for you! <laughs> Thanks for watching. I am Blunty. Thank you as always to the patrons scrolling up above there. I am Blunty and I will catch you next time.